Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time we broke into the maximum security prison in Prague to release the big guy, and we managed to reacquire the half of the clockwork heart that Murray smuggled through the prison system, and I still dread where he was hiding that thing. Anyways, Contessa unfortunately got away, and now it's time for us to chase her down, and from the looks of things, things are about to get pretty intense here in Prague. So let's go and get tangled up in this web. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. War. War never changes. And that is a, does a setup for a heist. So, before we head out with Sly, of course, we gotta check the net and see what all new goodies we can get and also sell the stuff that we got from our last heist that I couldn't really sell because we were in the middle of a heist in and of itself. So, let's sell the medals. Got around 3,000 coins and we got a lot of things. And it's actually probably some of the best gadgets in the game for the, for the gang. Uh, we got the health extractor for Bentley. This captures guards and siphons their health from them while basically putting them into the lockbox from Ghostbusters. It's a really useful gadget Bentley has if you're ever in a pinch to get some health or get some ability points back. We got the paraglider for Sly, which is actually a required uh, gadget to have to finish the game, so definitely could be picking that up right now. Raging Inferno Flop is... Basically, you do a thunder flop and it creates a wall of fire that will incinerate any guards that are right in front of you. Really good for Murray because if you get surrounded, well, now you got something to defend yourself with. I think it even one shots flashlight guards. And you know what? I think we got the money for all of this, so let's just grab all the gadgets while we're here. Alright, and now let's head out with Sly and do some recon. Let's just head over here. Avoid the tanks. Now, I don't know about you. I may just be a simple content creator, but I feel like the Czech Republic here in Prague would have a bit of an issue with a mercenary army having tanks patrolling through the streets of their capital city. Don't know about you, I just don't see them signing off on this. The tanks have blue flashlights and of course they'll shoot at you if they see you. They're really easy to avoid however, even if their flashlights see you and they start taking shots at you. Also I like that they had the parked car right in front of the van to hide it from the patrols. Uh, but they seem like a big threat. They're not really a big threat. The bigger threats are the Contessa's forces. Duh. But for now, we'll, let's get the lay of the land. Oh, I, I see you jumping over there. I'll get you after we get the briefing. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. Oh, they'll have to hit me first to blow me up to little sticky pieces. Also, that that is some Gotham City moon uh, size going on over there. I get you wanted to be fitting, but still. Alright, well, first things first, since it's flying right overhead, let's take a picture of the blimp. Advantage around all these high towers. 
Don't know about you, but I feel like flying it this close to Neela's side of this little war that's going on right now seems like a really bad idea because it could easily just get shot down by a tank. I mean, it's happened before, at least in the case of action movies. All right. So, as I go and collect some bottles around here, let's just clean up this side of the river. Uh, might as well do a little uh, talk about for the layout of this area. The entirety of this map is basically split into three small islands. One that is Neela's side, one that is Contessa's side, and one that is basically an intermediary between the two, which is over there. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the Contessa's forces over here for the most part with Neela. You just gotta worry about her tanks, which have a pretty easy to identify patrol pattern. Just a couple that go through the, the tunnels over there is actually kind of... Uh, it can catch you off guard at times. And there are some that will patrol over there. They only patrol this small island, so I guess the confined space and just so many lights overlapping each other could be a problem for you if you're not light on your feet. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you're perfectly safe from the Contessa's forces. She does actually have a few scouts over here that are patrolling down by the river's edge, which I believe are nothing but flashlight guards, so joy! Uh, the intermediary, intermediary, uh, intermediary island over by the right of Neela's Island is basically uh, has a couple more Contessa's forces. I believe it has some wolf guards as well as a couple of flashlight guards. And is there? Nope. There. Wait. Yep. There he is. I saw something jiggling over there, and it was his little pouch. Ooh, and he has something good in it. Just a second. I need to relieve you of your goodies. Isn't stripping the treasure off of combatants in the middle of a war zone considered a war crime? Ah, well, whatever. Let's take a picture of this boat. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Nela's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Don't know exactly how it's going to be doing much patrol when... There's no guards on it, there's no, like, searchlights on it, so I don't really know what she had planned for this, aside from wanting to give some thieves a little bit of a boost to sneak into her side of the, or in her side of the river. Let's head under here real quick, because tucked away under this little sewer entrance is another clue bottle. Alright, I need to, what was the... Nope, not gadgets. What were some of the other things that we had to take a picture of? I know we had to take a picture of a tank over there. Oh, it doesn't actually have a... Like a list of things. Alright, I guess I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Ah, that's right, we need to take a pic uh, pic of Neela's HQ. Uh-oh. Okay, it didn't see me. It looked like it did for a second there. And you've got nothing good on you, so I'm just going to let you live for now. Let's see if I can get a good picture of the tank from this side of the river. Nope, too far away. Alright. Alright, well, might as well just go grab all the remaining clue bottles over here, and then we shall take a picture of Neela's place, and then we shall head on over to the Contessa side. actually good on clue bottles over here so let's see if we can get a picture of nope I need to get a little bit closer so I think I need to get on top of the gazebo in the center of this little island if I can get up there come on alloop I said alloop there we go Neela's made a headquarters out of that old bank it's a pretty secure location it'll take some doing to drive her out I'll say it's secure. It's got over a half dozen tanks patrolling right outside the front door. Alright, now seeing as how the Contessa's tank is sitting over there on her side of the river, let's just take a little stroll down this electric wire. Hopefully not get electrocuted to death, and let's get a picture of it. And hopefully I can find a good spot to take a photo of it. And also hopefully I can actually get up onto the wire. There we go.
As you can see, she's beat up security from one tank to two. And she has a lot of guards patrolling on her side of the river. First things first, though. The Contessa's all geared up for war. Just our luck. Okay, Sly. Head off to the re-education tower. I suspect that's where we'll find the clockwork guys. I like how Bentley always feels like he has to struggle to say re-education, either out of nerves or just how awkward of a sentence that is for him. Uh, there are a lot of flashlight guards patrolling here. Usually, they this is actually one of the only times, I think, in this game where flashlight guards patrol up on the rooftops. goes these little walkways. So, I like that this level kind of flips the whole thing with, oh, flashlight guards aren't restricted to the ground floor this time. They actually will try to... They will actually patrol up into the upper areas of the uh, locale. I'm just going to grab the clue bottle over here real quick, so that way it's already out of the way. There we go, number 12. And I still hear her clinking. This one has a lot of clue bottles on it, like holy hell. Also, I like that my luck with these uh, wolf statues aren't turned out to be actual wolves in disguise, although these guys are most definitely actual wolves. All right, and they're between me and the tower, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to glide on over here. And I hear clink. Oh, I, I see that clinking. Bronze! You're relieved, soldier! All right, we'll just wait for this guy to get uh, done barking at nothing. And we shall relieve him of his duties as well. Alright, let's head on over to the re-education tower, as Bentley would say. The door is locked from the inside. Try working your way around to the tower's window. Already working on it, Bentley. Oh, Sly, please. Wanna get up to the very tippy top of the re-education tower? And then look down, because I forgot that it was a wasn't actually up there, although that would have been, like, a really good place for the bottle to be put. Oh, well. All right. Let's do some recon on the inside. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She sent me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just stay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. You know, Contessa, Carmelita kind of has a bit of a one-tracked mind when it comes to criminals. She only has eyes for Sly, so I doubt she ever would have told, uh, known that you were a member of the Claw Gang until you literally just told her right to her face. Also, I like that she's doing this whole thing to reprogram Carmelita's mind and hypnotize her to take the fall, even though literally there is a war with guards slash soldiers that are under her control and yet somehow Carmelita is going to take the fall for the whole thing. Ah well. 
smile. Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. Why, why do you have to have computer wires running to an ancient torture device? You know, just shackles, lock, and a key would do you so many wonders instead of having to have everything all technological and stuff. Also, I never actually noticed that the wires were running up to Carmelia's little prison right there until I realized it because it actually plays into the heist itself. All right, let's get a picture of those eyes. Those big, beautiful eyes. I know that's just the way that the device it, uh, holding Clockwork's eyes is programmed to, or just is designed to look like. I always see it as like two giant angry eyebrows and a little uh, nose poking out between the eyes and I always just laugh. Alright, uh, let's get a picture of these guys. Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. Well, yeah, they're the only flashlight guards in the game that decided, oh, hey, maybe we should actually wear a helmet to protect ourselves. Ooh. You look interesting. That's... That's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. Is there any reason why it looks like a microwave, though? Alright, what else do we have? Old terminal. Oh, right. We actually don't need a picture of the Contessa herself. There we go. And snap. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. Alright, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. <laughs> The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Slot, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. Thank you.